Hello Amazon sellers. Imagine this. You are burning through 60 to 80% of your advertising spend with little to no return. Did you ever check your wastage spent data before? If not, then this video might be a wake up call. But don't worry. I am here to help you tackle all your PPC challenges. In my today's video, I will discuss the importance of tracking your wastage spent data on a regular basis and discuss how you can minimize these numbers gradually. This is Hassan from Ecom Clips and without any deal, let's start today's video. So this is the sheet what I maintain every week for my account. And here I put the ad spent, ad sales, echoes, and the sponsored product, non-converted spent, sponsored brand, non-converted spent, and Finally, the sponsor display non-converted spent. And I am tracking this every week so that I can track like is it improving or not. The reason actually why I am saying this as non-converted instead of wastage spent is because you can't make sales from each clicks. So if anyone says that all of these data are wastage spent, it's not true at all. But this overall percentage matters. So let me first show you how you can prepare this report and track weekly basis. If I go to my Amazon Seller Central and from the Campaign Manager tab, if you go to the measurement and reporting, you can see the sponsored ads reports. Let me click on this. Now let's click on create report. And at first, I want to download the sponsored product search term reports. So you can see it's already selected as a sponsored product and search terms. So I just need to adjust the reported period, I mean the date range. So let me check the last week, 20th to 26th October and click on save then run the report. So the report is ready. Let's download this report. At first I need to filter this report and let's check the search terms that just spent without any sales. So if I go to the sales column and let's sort with only zero sales and now let's see what was the spend without any sales in last week. So you can see from here it's $4,738. Now again let's go back to the campaign manager reporting tab and go to the reports again. I want to create another report for a sponsored brand. Let's select this and for the sponsor brand again, let's select the search terms and again, let us select the date range. Let's download this report. So I am following the same steps that I followed for the sponsored product reports. Let's check the zero sales data and now let's check the spending amount. So this data should be replaced on here. Now let's download the sponsor display search terms report. Again, I need to go back to the reporting tab and click on create report. Now let's select the sponsored display. And for the sponsored display, there are no search term report. It's called matched target. Again, let's select the date range and run report. Let's download the report and check the wastage spend data. If I again check the matched target with no sales data, The spending amount is 180. Let me put this on the report. Now I need to check the actual ad spend ad sales from the campaign manager. Now let's go to the campaign manager tab and select again the similar date range. So let me first select the date range from here and here the amount is 6000 and sales data also. So this way you can update this report every week. Now what data actually we get from this report. You can see from here like every week we are spending on average 5000 to 6000 dollars and in return here are the sales like 20000 to 25000. So the echoes is like 20% to 
and when we checked the sponsored product non converted sponsored brand non converted and also like sponsored display non converted spend after calculating this data the total non converted spend is around weekly basis $4000 and sometimes it's like $5000 the next thing when we checked the non converted data's percentage you can see like it's over 80% so that means 80% of our spending data is not converting into sales. Now, if you check the power of echoes, which means if we wouldn't spend this data, what would be our actual echoes, which is like 3 to maximum 5%, which is not possible because you can't get sales from every click. But maximum, this could be 10%, I mean double. So you must have options to minimize this non-converting spending data. But for this, you must need to track this report weekly basis. Otherwise, you won't be able to understand what's the actual spend and how much of them are not converting. Now the question is how we can minimize this non-converting spending data. If I go to one of the search terms report, for example, let's open the search term report for a sponsored product. From this report, if I sort with the spendings that are highest to lowest, so from here you can see there are only 12 search terms that spent more than $10 with no sales. And all the other search terms that spent less than $10 and most of them are like $1, $2 or $3. So we didn't care about these search terms before because they just got maybe 2 clicks, 3 clicks or 5 clicks. But if you calculate all the data, then you can see it's a big number. So that means you must need to check and consider all the search terms that got clicked. To resolve this case, you need to follow the Ngram analysis report, which I already described in my previous video. If you missed that video, you can check it from the i button. In that report, I described how you can analyze all the search terms that got at least one click to minimize your wastage spent on Amazon. So I would recommend to watch that video and also maintain this tracker for your account so that you will get idea on non-converting spending data. If you need any help with your advertising accounts, simply email us at info at ecomclips.com. Also, you can visit our website ecomclips.com and review the blogs related to this topic. For your information, if you provide us your Amazon store URL or you can also send us your last 30 days Amazon search term report so we can prepare and free audit for you. Also, you can set us a free consultation call with us anytime. That's all for today. See you soon in my next video with another Amazon topic. Till then, stay safe. Thank you.